This will get around the issues relating to Raspberry Pi needing FAT32 for installing the SD card. Um, basically, anything over 32 gig, Windows will not let you um, format it in FAT32. It will come out as XFAT, which is a different format. The Raspberry Pi doesn't recognize it. So what you need to do, go here, which crop, daemon, co UK, index, htm, blah, 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 GUI format, dot htm. Click on this picture. A file will appear for download, GUI format. Just double check, is the H drive we want? It is H. I'm going to try and get the maximum out of this if it will let me do it. Start, quick format. Did it finish it? Done. So if I go back to here, it's now FAT32, and that's the drive ready. So the next stage is to copy my files. So what I've done now is basically I've gone to my noobs folder, done a control A, so control all, so pick every file, and then I've just pasted them or dropped them in to the H drive, the SD card, and we'll just wait for it to finish installing all this software. Okay, you won't see this, it was so fast at doing it. Basically the light had gone on and off. When it didn't work, there is two LEDs here. The top one was red and the next one was green. Basically the red one was basically saying the SD card wasn't readable. Um, as such, the monitor didn't boot up, but as you can see, we're now live. It's asking if I can in do I want to install Rasputin. Now I use the right mouse. As you can see, I've also still got my 60 gig. Um, so that's gone on quite well. That's worked. My question is, how do I say yes? I press enter. Oh, hang on. Pressing the wrong keyboard here. I'm on my other computer. Let's grab the one I want. Press enter. Enter. Come on. How do I install? Go for it. Zoom that out and I'll push in because that gives a better picture. And basically that's it. Um, a Raspberry Pi is now alive. Although it's having a think at the moment. Oh, yeah, there we go. It, it is alive. So, yeah, that does work You using that method I've just shown you. Um, because it's just worked for me. And if you do get a problem with the SD card and it comes up with a funny amount, for example, I just had one that come up is 39 gigabyte or something. The actual drive was, the disk was faulty. Um, I, I had suspects it was on its way out anyway, but I was going to use it as a temporary drive. So now I've had to put a good one in here. And as you see, it works fine. It, perfect. Um, so let me finish doing this video. Yeah.